All right, we're pulling up here. We'll be here in a little less than a mile. Probably Okay, it's just me then. I'll show you later, Spencer. No worry. Let me try up dining. Please do it. Hello everyone, welcome back to DOJ, jumping in here with the San Andreas Highway Patrol in the Dodge Charger, the absolute most badass charger of all time. Just with the size of the Ram Bar and the light setup is just absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna waste no time, go ahead and get in the cat here, mark myself 10-8, and get Ten the eight, radio eight. going. Can we get a person's name that way we could look it up? Not really sure what is going on exactly, I've been uh, quiet for some time, we'll go ahead and say goodbye. To that guy and start making our way to the gas station which uh, we seem to do we don't really spawn in many places there's not many sp places to spawn over here that are different so we always seem to make the same drive over and over with the highway patrol so I won't bore you with that we'll just go ahead and get over to the gas station okay so we're just leaving the gas station after filling up a nice full tank not doing the same stuff over and again o over and again I don't know what that means but okay um, over again, which is always nice. We're gonna be heading to... I think Blaine County. We could just sweep through Blaine County. It's gonna be a statewide, but instead of doing that, we're gonna go through Sonora Road, switching it up a little. Even though I can almost guarantee we're just gonna see a whole bunch of shitty-ass locals. And that's pretty much it. But hey, going into Sandy a different way, even though we are Highway Patrol, which kind of doesn't make any sense. Staying on the highway is kind of our... our thing, if you ask me. Holy shit, this was such a bad idea. This person is going 20 miles per hour on a back road. Go ahead. Okay, this was a horrendous idea going down this road. It is slower than all hell, especially when we're in a Charger, which is in the, a Pursuit Capable 4 or something like that, the new thing. Uh, so that way engine mods can be added and uh, we can actually catch up to the ridiculous cars that are sometimes being chased around the map at upwards to you know, like 140 miles per hour, which is definitely a run for people's money in the car that they're driving. That person's going so slow that it's just not worth it. You're getting on the on-ramp of a freeway. Most likely in your best interest to actually drive like you are getting on a freeway. If not, you shall die. Ooh, pulling up here. I think I might have actually found a good spot. Now this bush hides a decent amount of my car. It's not a lot, but it's a good amount. Something to where we might actually catch someone uh, speeding. Now, the brake lights don't show up on other people's screens, that's just a client-side uh, effect that you see, so we just see it on our side, so no one else will see our brake lights, so... Beneficially speaking, it, it should benefit us, you know what I mean? It's not like it's not gonna be a good spot. Uh, I've seen worse, I've been in worse. Um, but this one should yield some type of results if someone wants to really get off the freeway fast. Or we might be sitting in an area where it's not picking up any cars at all. I might want to switch, or not switch, but like, change my position like that, just a t-bit. I mean, it's either the freeway here, and sit like this, which honestly isn't too bad. It looks bad, but it ain't too bad, okay? Oh, let's be honest about it. Let's see who we pick up uh, on this lane, if we actually do pick anyone up or not. Nope, we did not pick him up, and he was going pretty fast. you think we would have picked him up. Not sure why it did not give it to us. That's actually not a bad spot, but by the time you get up on them, uh, on that spot behind us in the median there, people are going to see us and they're going to slow down, Five so... I think that's a police officer. Five yeah. Six. We have black and white charger. Right in the seven, shit out of that semi-truck. Oh, there it is. As I'm sitting here, the RV across the street gets pulled over. Literally exposing my spot, but this also might help. That, you know, if someone's going southbound, Someone will see the traffic stop and be like, oh, I'm totally going to speed. Who, who would be out, you know, doing radar when there's a traffic stop? So they might speed up and I might catch their speed and we can have a traffic stop ourselves. So this could help us and then also slow people down just because they see the police lights. So one or the other. Well, the sun is coming up, so this spot is pretty much pointless at this time. Uh, so we're probably going to turn on our car. And go ahead and get on out of here because uh, you need to out the our vehicle you. is a little too bright to sit there in the sun, uh, sun, daytime. I don't know, sun time. What the fuck is sun time? I'm gonna go ahead and hop on Route 68 here. Hold on. 93. 
Joshua Road. He might be going on uh, yeah, this freeway then. Wait a second. 270 again, 270. I lost eyes on him. 270? Is that going to be closer? Uh, 10 4. That might be the same vehicle involved in the MVA earlier, if we can confirm. I'm going to be set up right here. Yeah, um, I'd be advised you took a reckless cut off the road and lost eyes that on That was him. close to that wall. He lost eyes on him. If we sit right here. Comment. We should be able to uh, intercept if he decides to take the freeway, or if we get a uh, better description color, of what's going on. Uh, I believe occupied times. It's an interesting spot. This is a tucked uh, no location. Further. He Copy. said he went that's off road. Which, if he went off road, that means that know. that's going to indicate that he's going to keep going off road. So uh, it might be quite difficult to follow him. Under those conditions, I could have sworn I just saw a bike going super quick, but I might have not. Could have just been a damn bird. Or, uh, if you could, if it, we could have a unit check the impound lot for a blue comet, uh, see if it's still there. Did someone steal the comet from the impound lot? Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, there's no eyes going on with the comet. I'm gonna go ahead and go down Route 68 to see if we could locate. The Comet passed at about 100 miles per hour. They're trying to figure out right now if it's a stolen vehicle from the impound lot. Uh, that's why they're asking if it's damaged. So if we could figure out if that has damage. It could be a stolen vehicle. Uh, it could be stolen by another patron. It could be stolen by the person that owns it. Just wanted to get their car back. So if we go up and down Route 68. It's a pretty known area, so we might have a chance of seeing the individual. I have a feeling he's going to pass a cop at a pretty high rate of speed, because if you've already stole the car, then most likely you're going to go ahead and continue to speed around, try to get away with the car, whether it be your car or a stolen car, you, I mean, the whole point of that is to get away. Four DPS 8, 1K24, are you available? 1K24, I'm available. Affirm. Alright, we got a 71 request. We'll find the closest for you. I believe we did. Unknown at this point. One kick two four. I'll hear the yep. closer one. I'll have you attach. Uh, stand by for postal. One kick two four. Copy. Three o three. Three o three. U.S. Route team for a white camper van. Oh, I was right there. Seventy one. One kick twenty four. Copy. I'll be around. Ten four. All right. Um. So it's that camper van. That suspect or the individual is requesting a supervisor. So right now we're going to go ahead and head back to the 13. And we're going to go ahead and get off of this uh, reckless driver stolen vehicle that we were focusing on. Which he's long gone by now probably. So we'll see what's going on with the guy in the camper van. I'm not really sure what he would have got pulled over for. I wasn't really looking in that direction. So I, I couldn't even notice what it was that he got uh, lit up for honestly. Oh man, they really gotta stop driving tractors on the roadway. Come on, dude, pull over. You shouldn't even be on the road. No license plate. You got brake lights, but whoop de do. Watch us see that comment. Oh, that would suck. Have a pending call, but you also see a stolen vehicle traveling at a high rate of speed. That would be a bish. Alright, we're hopping on the freeway. Traffic stop should be just across from where we were sitting. So not too far till we get there. We're just going to take this front lane since it's taking a minute. I've been stuck behind slow dump trucks, cement trucks, and all that shit. It's mad annoying. Monkey 24, I'm 23. Monkey 24-1023-0528. Alright, let's go ahead and see what this guy wants. I need to save my car so that way it does not disappear. Disappear. Wow. English is just ridiculous. Disappear. Disappear. Hop over this. I wonder if that's a stolen car. Has to be. You want me to just stay in the damn middle of the road? Doing nothing. 
Uh, I mean, I it barely started happening, and so you Get just pulled up and started harassing me. Again, I, mean, I can see this is going well. Yeah, what's going on, hey sir? There. Yes, this guy pulled me over saying I was going too slow. I had my hazard lights on, and I was on this side of the, on the road, so I don't have to mess up people with their with their driving. You know what I'm saying? And okay. He, and he's giving me a ticket for driving on the right lane and under speed, I guess you said, right? Yeah, I clocked him going 20 miles an hour, but one foot of speed limit on the under two lanes. Okay, yeah, well, I mean, that is a pretty yeah. dangerous speed, even with hazards, you know that, right? And, yeah, but I, I'm, t I'm telling you, I can't go any faster. I was trying to, I've been trying to get off the highway as soon as possible. I can't go faster. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with my damn, my damn camper. It's messing up. I was on the side, on this lane right here. I was trying to avoid traffic, okay? I mean, I was doing my best, and he's over here harassing me, giving me for no reason. Okay, well, I mean, it would make more sense if you were having vehicle difficulties and you were having to travel at about 20 miles per hour to travel in the well, emergency that, lane. I, did have vehicle difficulties. I know, I but you weren't, you're not listening to the end part, which is to travel in the emergency lane because you would be having a emergency. Yeah, it is an emergency. Yes, so if it's an emergency driving in the, were you driving in the actual lanes of traffic or were you driving on the shoulder? The shoulder. Okay, uh, well, I mean, in my book, if he was traveling on the shoulder in, a, in an emergency with the hazards on, oh, crap. Traveling on the shoulder with the hazards on under the circumstances provided, then that would constitute you know, what we call an emergency. Um, you know, sitting on the side of the road trying to fix your car up isn't an emergency because you can simply no, walk off the road. I know, I'm just trying to give the differences of how it is. Obviously, if you're in a vehicle and it's still running and you gotta do what you gotta do, traveling at 20 miles per hour in the, you know, designated lanes of travel is not good because you will get rear-ended and you'll kill someone in a camper. Yeah, that's why, but, that's why I did a lane change towards the shoulder so I can go from there. It barely okay. started happening. All right. Well, I think it was bad timing on everyone's part. Probably then. Probably not the best idea to. Um, I don't know. I. I, I mean, you got to get it looked at. It's. It's not our problem to look at your car. Yeah, I understand that, but now, I, now I'm getting two, two citations for for no reason. I'm trying my best here. Well, to, if to get off that. if the cop if he I mean, already has them written up, there's not really anything I can do. So. Yeah, rip okay, it up and the, the river. Tell you what, so I'll rip up one of these. At this time, you would still be safe for the emergency slow speeds and the active lane of traffic. Okay, well, then I'll just fight that one in court, I guess. It's fine. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Yeah, I caught on. I'll use my, my, my damn camper will start. Well, I hope it does. Yeah, I hope so, too. Now I'm going to have to be walking home on the highway. I'm going to get hit. Well, I'm sure there's a ride I'll share service. This cop is all about telling him what he can't do instead of helping him. This poor guy. Do you have any questions for myself or my superior here? Um, will, will I see you in court when I take you to court? If you take you to court, uh, I possibly may be there. I will also submit my dash cam footage. If you're not there, then the case gets dismissed. Oh, yes, he would have to be there. I'll make sure to, to have your badge, all right? And what's your badge okay. number? Sorry, just your badge number. Badge number is going to be 20748. 20748, that's a long ass badge number, okay. It's five digits, sir. Yeah, I mean, five, that's that's my whole left hand right there. Yeah. There it is. Glad uh, this guy can count. Okay, so you have, uh, do you have any questions for myself and my superior here besides that? I do not. Okay, well, have a nice day, sir. Thank you. Uh, well, I mean, where are going to go? My, my camera's yeah. not going to start, so I might have to just right Well, you need to see if it starts, well, and if it does, you need to travel down the road uh, to take your immediate right. I mean, I can, I can just push it. Yeah, that's the, definitely not going to happen. It's not going to happen? We that? can give him a push with the ram bar, you know what I mean? Would you like me to see if I can get towed after you? Uh, will they charge me or will they charge you? Well, toes aren't free, sir. Uh, you? Well, I can't uh, pay for it, so then I'm not going to get it, so. Well, 
If you do decide to walk on the highway and you leave your ban vehicle abandoned, we will have to tell your vehicle no matter what, and there will be a ticket in the mail. I think what we could do uh, is we could push the car down with the ram bar. So if you just push it down there, or if you can start and you go into the very left hand lane and then make a left into the utility parking lot, then that's fine. Okay, so what, you want me to cross traffic? Okay. Why don't you go I'll shut it down it. for him? Traffic's going way too fast. I'll bump him with the ram bar to give him a nudge and then you shut down traffic. I'll push it also from the driver's seat area. Yeah, just get in the driver near it. Yeah. Uh, Okay, this is uh, much better. That way I don't have traffic killing me or anything. Oh, nice. I just slid over his car. Seems legit. Alright, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go up behind it. it. You ready? There we go. I'll just, I'm going to go ahead and apply more pressure than it is. Oh my. <laughs> there okay we go. There. Thank you, partner. <laughs> there it is. Seems legit. Nice. That worked. Hella good. Well, I mean, I guess that works. I say that works pretty I'm damn kill well. Like five people, so. Well, I'm those people, like people are people irrelevant. Right. <laughs> like, I guess they are irrelevant. Aren't they? All right. So at this point, now you're in a stable spot to be able to at least fix the camper, and if not, you can tuck it in a spot here. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, as this officer's done here, then you have a good day. All right. Yeah. Walking 24. I'm gonna be 10 8 off that traffic stop. We might need you somewhere else here in a moment. Stand by. I'll be on standby. Okay, so we've got another call on standby. Um, not exactly sure what's going on, but that was a pretty cool thing. We, we haven't got to push a uh, camper like that. I'm gonna fix the car just so it's not fucked up. Caller states, four four times individuals trying to play football, but there is a beer truck and people on the field drinking beer on campus. So we can have those units en route to uh, disperse party. Uh, and uh, four five four as well. If we could have those units in route. Yep. Two hundred and one one responding. Walking twenty four in route. Four fifteen responding. Okay, so right now we've hey, got yeah. a uh, party on the university lawn or something of that age. Oh, I saw that one coming from a mile away. Son of a bitch. Ow, that's gonna hurt tomorrow. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just light up here. We've got a. We've got a quite the um, distance to travel. So it's uh, four individuals at the University of San Andreas where they are drinking and they have like a keg or something of that nature. So we've got other units responding. I believe they might have shipped out a lot of HP. Uh, that might be for uh, mutual aid. Uh, since I got probably limited PD units out there, but that's fine. We can go out there and try to handle that. Um, I believe we're probably going to see a few more people responding if that's the case. But we got about three hey, miles to go, so hopefully it doesn't get too reckless because there is alcohol involved. And we can just continue on like a code two, or um, on like a code one. But we'll kind of have to see as we're getting closer. Alright, we're going to have to get over to this right lane here. I was going a little too CPA fast. Eight. Five individuals. Damn, five? I'm gonna they have to step it up. Very, very, very intoxicated. Okay. And high. I, I wanna see if I can get there, code three. Two hundred one one pulling up at front twenty three. Monkey twenty four Monkey twenty four dispatch. I'm responding from five three three. I'm gonna step it up code three to get there in a timely manner. Yeah, something. Five tango four up to three since there's there's DUI subject kind of around DUIE. Okay, so right now we have five DUI subjects, heavily intoxicated, uh, possible a lot of narcotics, uh, marijuana, something like that. So we're going to step it up code right three to attempt I'll to get there a little needed. faster. Oh, it's a DUI. They did bring a car there, so they must have drank Tango or something. Try to get through this traffic.
We're about a mile and a quarter away, so we should be there relatively soon. This siren sounds so good uh, in the uh, city uh, with the echo and stuff. Uh, Try to get there as fast as we can. Alright, they're going to ship out a DUI unit. Try to assist us in seeing the intoxication four, five, four, level of these individuals. All right, we're pulling up here. We'll be here in a little less than a mile. Or I'll be 97 to that. Step four. Fuck, this horn sounds really good, too. All right, everything's looking good. We're gonna be there in a second. We'll let them know that I'm 23. Monkey 24, 23. One king, Alright, I believe they're gonna be on the field here. Damn, there's a lot of cops. Two looking for fifteen saw me. Oh, not on my screen. Bruh. <laughs> like shit, dude. You gotta be shitting me. My bad. I feel I feel bad now. <laughs> like shit. That was accidental. I like how they're all pulled up like super proper. What way did they go in? Maybe this way? Hopefully they're not going to be too big of an issue though. PSA cars on location. Just detain everybody. They're running around not answering questions. Oh, they got cars on the property? Wow. Alright, we need or a police car they, in were there. Were they driving a vehicle or were they just loitering around? They're all standing around drinking. I'm gonna get a police car in there for our own benefit. Are they allowed to be intoxicated on said property? I don't know, they're not answering my questions, just detain them, please. Let's get in here with the I'm car, that way we just have there. something in here. We'll contact I the only had like a few beers, dude. Uh, alcohol is not allowed on camp, just give us a second. No, it's definitely not allowed. Allowed to, on this campus? You're not allowed to drive. Okay, 24, I have oh, a vehicle over yeah, here for anyone that wants to put anyone in that's uh, too intoxicated. I understand, but it's okay. All right, you and just for units 43, we do have a DUI for <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. What the fuck three is three that guy now. doing? Cut this Bro. guy too. Bring him over hey, buddy, here. Hey, buddy, you can go ahead and put that beer down. What? Thank you. I said, you go ahead and put that beer down. No. Hold on. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you guys Sorry, stand still? Can you, can you guys stand still? You wouldn't be in handcuffs if you would have listened the first time. What still. is so this guy? Stand still okay. And so, out what what cuffs, on. bitch? Can you explain to me what y'all doing here? Oh shit. Yeah, we're just detaining everybody now because I tried oh, to Spencer. ask some questions and they started running laps around the. Track. I have a quick question. Does anyone do else see Spencer doing something extremely odd? <laughs> What am I doing? Um, no. Okay, it's just me then. I'll show you later, Spencer. No worry. I'm just breathing. <laughs> Let me try F9. <sighs> Please do it. Please do it quick. Here's, here's additional. No. No, no Jordan, you're doing, you're doing something weird right now. <laughs> Does it? Alright. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing when you're drinking? One one. If not, <laughs> he looked like he was doing something really, really bad. It was one of these cost the You all students here? County Medic Station like you want to separate yeah. them? No. One each. You permitted to drive on this track and drink? Didn't Let's go have a chat. Alright, we we're gonna talk to you each separately. I'll take you, ma'am. We're gonna chat oh, with this you guy. Come, come over here. Oh. All right. So what's going on with you today? Hi. How's it going? What's going on with you today? I was running the mile. And were you doing that intoxicated and or on drugs? Nope. Do you know these people? Yes. How do you know them? They go to school here. You go to school here? No. But they have cool cars. And uh, we bonded over cars. You bonded over cars. So you thought it would be a good idea to take those cars onto the track and field? Yes. 
Oh, good. It's the best way to race and then get the get the track working. I see. CBS. Get that hey, nice radio, fresh rubber on the camping? track. You know, just the you know the nice smell of burning out. That's an egg mm -hmm. farm. Just, we just got know, confirmation running. from the University of San Andreas. So, no, good, uh, alcohol who brought the alcohol the to the party? Um, I'm not Roger. sure. I showed up a little bit late, trespassing and, and they were kind of just being jackasses. So I decided to join the mile, and they joined me. And then, uh, yeah. So you were here before or after they That's got here? After they got here. Okay. And you came to just run the okay. mile and you somehow got mixed up with whatever they were doing, or...? Uh, I, I know, I kind of know them, you know, vaguely. You know, uh, they kind of wanted me to, hit, you know, head here. They put, like, a big invite uh, out, or, yeah. you know, I saw it, so I just hopped over here. But I decided just to run the mile, because I'm really good at that. Can we get a motion unit activated, boo? Okay, and how old are you? Uh, Olympic run. 25. Okay. So, I have a whole bunch of people over there who are underage and drunk, and you're 25 and not drunk. No. Uh, correct myself. I was asking for any. Well, do elaborate. Uh, for underage drinking. Well, uh, the thing is, is that they are dumbasses. Yeah, we don't. And I am not. <laughs> so my question is, if they're all underage, how did they get alcohol? And who has the ability to buy it? I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm putting stuff together here. You know what I'm saying? Well. So this guy's good. I don't have to worry about this guy. Well, at this point, I'm not sure. We've got a whole bunch of underage people over there that are uh, completely intoxicated, and this guy is not intoxicated and also of age to buy that alcohol. So, I mean, he's I'm, I got well, him, but I don't know what's going on. I hope he explains a little more because I'm a little confused. Yeah, I probably only have one warrant, so we should be Oh, there. good. Okay. If we could get some information from him, we could contact some liquor stores in the area and see if he's been buying any alcohol for him recently. Yeah, we could run his pocket, see if he has a receipt in there, make it easy for ourselves. We could do that for sure. You got an ID on you? Anything in your pockets? Uh, yeah, I do. What do you got in there? I'm gonna go see if anyone needs that DUI done. Uh, yeah, they definitely, all of them are drunk. We're good over here. Go ahead. Caramel spelling. Charlie, Sounded like you said caramel Charlie, spelling. Like <laughs> there it is. Spelling. Nailed it. Ooh, uh, I, I have my steak cooking on my uh, car, so I need, to, my, I need to get that now. You have a steak cooking on your cars? Yeah. Uh, what I do is I just turn on the engine, you know, put the steak in, you know, kind of sets it to a certain degree, then I, you know, just uh, cook it in the back of my uh, car. Okay. What's your name? Jack Wilson. Who? Jack Wilson. Jack Wilson, okay. And you have any priors for more. intoxication or anything like that? And you said he had a warrant. What is a no. warrant for? Uh, I don't know. Probably felony evasion or something. Oh, good. 9, 22, 90, something oh, wait. Uh, uh, no Uh-huh. I know who you are. Right. King 24 I believe, uh, do we have that, that right? vehicle on scene here that was stolen from the Sandy lot? I don't believe. It's possible. Uh, it, is it a blue comet? <laughs> yeah, one King twenty four. I believe we have our individual here. He said uh, willingly that he had a warrant for felony evasion, so I think we have him. Set four. Uh, we'll okay. Five warrant service unit. All right. Well, my uh, warrant's actually for human we'll trafficking. Well, well, I think you already said it was for evading, and that's a blue comet that we were looking for. So you honestly just gave that right, to us before I even had to investigate okay. anything involved with that. So, thank you. <laughs> like, well, it's actually human trafficking. If you go, you can check the sheet. Well, sure, so I'll check the ready. thing. But so, I think uh, you're wanted you for something that happened uh, yesterday. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. the car that was stolen from the Sandy uh, Police Station. Because oh. that's your blue comet, right? If he is an approved warrant, you guys could go ahead and arrest him for said warrant. See? I mean, it's a yes or no. You can be truthful now. We're kind of four, over the, one, two, four, over that, the bullshit. That blue comment right there. No, that right baby there. blue one. Walkie 24, I copy. He's no, starting to get fidgety like... now, but I believe we have our guy. So, who's, who's blue comet four, is that? Five, ten, oh, four, oh, three. Five, one, two, two, comet they over here. here is my friend Chris's comment. And so that's your blue comet then, right? Three, Lincoln, seven, no. 
So that's your friend's comet, and you drove here in what car? The the dark blue. The dark the one blue with one. The stake in the back, but I need to get copy. Yeah. the dark blue one. Where is that one? Uh, right on the sand pit, right where I'm looking at. You said that was your friend's car. Well, yeah, so it's my friend's car, Chris's car. Mm -hmm. I drove here. So what did your friend drive? He Walk the 24 copy. I'm gonna need uh, help here. This guy's running around stories, so. Why would he so. own two of the same cars? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, well, let's just, we'll run the plate and figure that out real fast. Walking 24, just investigation uh, wise. I'm gonna let that lady go. Uh, so I'm free to go. Yeah. At the, at the school, but I'm just gonna give her a ticket. I don't know about the other people yet. Okay, well, I think uh, you're not telling me all you should be at this point, my friend. Now's your chance to be honest. Can I get a 27, 29 one ready? Well, a few days ago, I had one of my bunnies, uh, um, you say bunny? His name is Johnny Wilson. He <laughs> killed a cop, uh, murdered him with a bunny Uzi. So that was that was fun. Oh shit! Watch it go down. Pretty fun. Tom, two Lincoln, one five six. No, one five three. Actually, he's dead. Oh. So I'm keeping an eye on you. Don't worry. But I thought that guy was about to take off. Walking twenty four. Let's get that guy away from that blue vehicle, please. Tanner Smith back, uh, clean and clear, uh, DOB of, uh, one eight two thousand. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop you in a car so, just so you uh, can, uh, cool down with the air conditioning. Let's go over here. Is it legal no to put that, trackers uh, on a uh, police vehicle? Today. Sure seems like it. I wouldn't say so. It's not that illegal, right? The tight, all right. If you could get a name of the guy you have, I have nowhere to, to, to go. You can run a warrant check and a name check on him. Well, King 24, his name's gonna be Jack Wilson. I don't believe it's a warrant in the system, but I think he openly confessed to him being chased to the police earlier, but thought that we had it as an official warrant in the system. <laughs> Sit still. Five thousand one twenty. He's gonna be the. Is that gonna be the driver of the blue comet? Mm. Walking 24, unknown. I had another individual that ran up to the blue comet acting like it was his car, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if that is the person that is claiming to own it. Jack Wilson, DOB of 2295, has a Rumpo registered under his name. I'm not seeing a comet registered under his name. Uh, one prior arrest uh, you... on August 6th for Vanity. Sir, I got a question for you. Did you just run up to the blue comet? Uh. Yeah, uh, my head got a little foggy, so I just ran back. I'm sorry. Okay. Do you own that car? Stand by. Well, it's gonna be 10:30. It's my dad's car. Oh, okay. It's registered to him, Mike Jackson. My name's Mark Jackson. I see. Okay. Yeah, I got his license right here. Give me one sec, then. I'll be right back. Do you know the um plate of the blue car that was at the station? Does anyone know? Uh, I was in the I city all day. Okay. I'm going to ask because he said over there it's his father's Jack, car. Uh, and if that was the car that was at the station, that means that someone stole it and brought it back to him here. Yeah. Walking mm -hmm. 24, do we have a plate of the blue vehicle that was stolen from the Sandy station? Sure. Sure. Unknown. If we could have a unit scene, uh, check the plate. We'll look it up. We can, if it was at the station, we could pull the security footage. Well, it would have been documented too, so. Is the blue comet still at the university? If we could have a check. Walking 24, I'm at the university. I need the plate of the blue car that was stolen from the Sandy station. Yeah, negative. We just never got a so plate. So my on guess the is comet. that blue uh, vehicle was towed away to the station. Monkey 24, I copy. If it was taken to the station, it should have been logged in our uh, system and stuff like that. So we'll just have to do it uh, on our site here. I copy. Alright, what's up with this dude? Is he allowed here? Is he a student? I can head to the city PD and check the box. 
Kate's at board, thank you. 3 Charles 379. Kate's at we got a Debian route to the uh, uh, Sheriff's Office at Sandy Shores. We would have, even though he did a mint, we would have done under it. Under 24, we got it uh, online. We could just check uh, it online. I appreciate it, though. Terrence. His, name, his name is Terrence. Yeah, I would give him a Four. ticket and for the underage drinking to have his dad pick him up. Uh, he's, he's over there, dude. Thank you. Am I free to go? How you doing you inside here, man? Alive. I'm doing good. I just want to get... Alright, well, we're, we're trying to work out what's going on here. There's a lot of people, a lot of stories, and it's not all adding up. So who was driving yeah, this was blue car? I honestly am not sure. I know it's one of my buddies who I obviously just got the thing and I arrived here. Mm -hmm. So I'm calling them all them my buddy. Okay. So, uh, you know, I don't know who drive, drives, drives that car. Half of them are too drunk to even talk to. So. I honestly just want to cook my steak. Legit a flame and yawn. I bet you do, man. We're trying to figure it out. Do you want some of the flame and yawn? Sound, uh, it sounds good, but I'm I'm good. There it is. For now, for now. Okay, so we don't know what the logs are coming back with. Um, I have a feeling we're impounding this car because it was stolen from the station. But we don't know who the driver is unless someone snitches. Sir, please let me take my car home. My dad's car. So who was driving that car? He's... I, I was driving the car. The blue okay. Comet right there. And where, would you, where were you coming from? From Blaine County. Okay. And where was the car at before you it's started driving it? My house, my dad, my dad's house. Was there any chance that you might have been going past the police station and saw it and got in and started driving and not realized that it was impounded? No, I had no idea it was impounded. Okay, well, that vehicle was stolen from the Sandy Shores police station earlier. So, you know, you admitting to driving the vehicle. It was stolen? It was stolen from the Sandy Shores police station. I mean, it's been at our house for a while. I use it all the time. My dad's Mike Jackson. I'm Mark Jackson. I'm his son. Well, I don't know of many blue comets that would be like that at our station. You know what I mean? That's a pretty nice car. Are you... Okay. That's interesting. I mean, there's another blue comet right there. But that's not really blue. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's, that's dark blue. You can see the license plates registered to my dad. Well, I don't see that that's going to really help us. And we're not saying it's a Sandy Shores car that we own. GPSA. We're saying we had it impounded at the station and someone stole it from the station. Shit, I don't know anything about that unless my dad knows. Are you booking that person? Negative, sir. Well, so go ahead, tell me what your dad say. Is he coming to pick you up or what? I'm gonna be in my vehicle. No, he's not too happy with me. He said right. I can walk. Okay, well, I got a guy in my car that's gonna need some type of something. I believe he's the one that bought the alcohol. Hey. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Yes. So, aren't they 16, right? How are they? I uh, don't know exact age, but they're underage. Okay, well Is then, he, why are so they attending a college? So, I'm sorry, what? No, if, if, the they supposed... okay. if they supposedly go here, but they're underage, this is a college, right? So why would they be going to college at their age? I didn't ask them about what school they went to, so I have no idea. All I know is that they're underage. Someone That's what said they, they said. Went here. Got the one released with the citation. I asked if you were a person to be asking. Right, like so I'm over the age, but I got permission from the school. Okay. Well, at this point, 
we're trying to figure out what's going on here, and no one's making it any easier by not saying anything. Uh, we have some people saying some good stuff, which is everyone's pretty much pointing you out as a person that brought the alcohol. I'm, right. I'm totally lying. Right. Well, I mean, what are they? They're, they're saying you did. So, I mean, if you just work with us and let us know that you did, then maybe we don't have to give you a serious charge for it. Hey, Terrence. Like, I, I is, seriously I did Terrence not right get him any alcohol. <laughs> you can search my vehicle. If I, you would see or see. Well, would if see you brought I wasn't the alcohol, thinking. you wouldn't have any more alcohol with you because you would have gave it to them. Well, wouldn't I have receipts on me at least somewhere, right? I mean, you could have thrown away it when you left the store. Am I, is this like Terrence I, in the vehicle here? Really no. Nope. I got, some I got some questions for him. If this is Terrence. It's not Terrence. Oh, my apologies. I'll be Terrence if you want. No. Well, no, we're looking for Are Terrence right now, because apparently he was the one who rented that truck full of alcohol. Releasing it. Okay, well, way to ruin my reverse psychology, officer. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, well, I apologize. I like to be straight into the point. You shot that shit out of the water. God damn it. I guess so. I'll just go ahead and search the vehicle or something. Okay. If there's a pigeon in there, make sure you don't shoot it in the face. <laughs> like... Oh, psychology hit. Oh, good. Yeah. Alright. Well. Guess we're gonna let you go then, since... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't bring it. That so... was fucked up. <laughs> like... Face the car. That's the wrong suspect. I'm just sitting down over here. He said he drove here, correct? I mean, yeah, but he's not intoxicated. He brought the alcohol. He's not the one that brought it. He, okay. that officer, has a name for the person who brought the alcohol. So this guy is at the wrong place at the wrong time, but shouldn't be here doing this shit anyways. So I'm good to go then? Yes. Awesome, thank you. I'm glad you get in arrest me for my warrant. Oh, fuck, that's right. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Monkey24, I think we got one taken off. We totally forgot about the warrant that he had, and I think he's taken off. Yep, it's... Come on, dude. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Monkey24, he stopped in the alleyway right near Richmond. He stopped. You could lift signal 100. Come on. There it is. Just walk to the car again. <laughs> like, he's yeah. Like... Might as well. Well, that uh, definitely wasn't good that you had a warrant, and then you're also going to get arrested for that charge too now. Well, you let me go. I know, but now you're just now you're Come gonna on. get another charge that was so not worth it to even get I in the first place. I was honest with you. I told you. You were honest up to the point until you started running from us again. <laughs> so that's like. I mean, uh, his warrant was a felony evasion, so that just be. It, it makes sense that you did that again, I guess. No, it was human <laughs> trafficking. Oh. I'm Jack, not Johnny. All right, get in the car, sir. This ah, time you're going with us. I trusted you. And you lie. There we go. He shut the door. Got your door. Thank you. I trusted you so dearly. All right, let's bring you back to the field. Oh shit! Get well, there goes my steak. You didn't even have to say anything. You could have just slowly walked away, and you would have been home. Well, I'm I'm an honest man. Well, that honesty got you back in the car. <laughs> like, ah oh, shit! Can I at least get my steak? Oh my god. No. Oh, this guy? Yeah, he got back in the car and as he was walking back to the car, he said, Thanks for not arresting me on my warrant. And then he got in his car and took off. Nice. Oh, uh, if you can't be more obvious than that. That's uh, so what I told him. I said, Dude, you would have been home yeah, if you wouldn't have released, said shit. <laughs> we released everybody besides the two you were talking to. We released the right. uh, people on tickets besides these two. Well, he would have. Well, he had a warrant, so I guess he would have came with us anyways. But if he would have just slipped out of the back, he would have been home. I think it's not illegal to be know. an idiot. Who was taking care of him? Oh, that was me. <laughs> that was me. You guys are so mean. <laughs> All right, so everybody's gonna be released at this time, besides this guy, obviously. So everybody's taking care of with their tickets. I'm gonna take care of these cars. I'm gonna search them, and then they're all getting towed because they're illegally parked. 
Yeah, I think I'm that blue vehicle has something to do with that was stolen earlier, so. I'm still trying to figure out if Terrence was let go or if he was, uh, and never on the scene. The I place. never contacted or talked talk to anyone to named Terrence, okay, though. Okay, I'm gonna assume he was off the scene. I'll try to. Yeah, I, I, another person might have had him, search. but I have had this guy the whole time who I'm about to transport. All right, I'll stop by the office on, on my patrol and no. try to get a name for Terrence. I'm sure Spence, well, there's a cop over there with the, the car he just tried to run in, so we need to search that, we need to search this, and... Well, we need to search all of them. I need to, I need to finish the truck. Roger. Alright, good work, guys. I'm gonna go beat this guy around the corner. <laughs> All right, let's take this guy to jail. Are you? Oh, are you. I gotta. I, you're the one in handcuffs, my dude. You better watch yourself. <laughs> like shit. You know, um, Terrence has a warrant. Okay, well, we don't even know who the hell Terrence is. So, who is Terrence? Why was he not there? Was he there? Um, I'm. He might have been there. Terrence yeah, Jones was one of my buddies. He has a warrant out for vandalism. Uh, and uh, he also You're helped me in human trafficking a while back. Okay. What's up with you guys in human trafficking? Oh, we do a lot of it. Oh, good. Drug transport, things like that. You know, we killed a cop yesterday, and we killed two cops. Where's the rock crowd here? Call, and then I, you know, my brother got killed, and then he got shot on the face by Five Echo Two, and then, you know. Oh, sounds like a really fun day. Oh yeah, he got four shots to the head and he was a hostage too. Oh, good. <laughs> so I'm glad we're taking out the hostages, right? You I mean, I mean, there's... You know... Can't have those on Bullets don't have names on it. Mm. They don't have labels. He's very accurate. They're very 2019 very accurate. on the way that they live their lifestyle. Yeah, well, he needs to put labels on him because he was a dead aim shot. So when do I get released again? Well, hopefully never, but uh, you'll have to talk to the jail staff and the court. I'll just break out. Not that hard. I mean, if that's what you want to do, then that's again. what you got to do. Do you think I could drive this Explorer on... Uh, sorry, not the Explorer, this Charger on the way back? I don't know. Yeah, you could try to drive the Explorer, but I don't see one. I, can I can I drive this one instead? You just hop in the back. I'll handcuff you and I drive. Yeah, it sounds like a plan, Stan. Dude, I'm down. What the fuck is that guy doing? All right, we're almost Sadly to the though, Rockford Hills. Out, since there's no handles back. Here. Yeah, we remove those for people like you. I wonder why. Uh huh. Is that right? Go ahead. Is that what we want to say? Yeah, we put labels on we that. Had a big party going oh, on so the, those are your white white switch, right? What's the whistle? Would. Yep. Uh, you know, I could probably get out if I wanted. I'm sure you could just go ahead and fight it in court. Ten four. Good job, guys. Oh no no no, that's not what I meant. Okay. Okay. Control two, Lincoln one one. Lincoln one one. Hey guys, I'm gonna remain. So you're a professional at what you do? Watch your head. Ten four. Monkey twenty four, you go to switch to Blaine County. Jeez, you're so firm. I mean, I so gotta be strict. Uh, <laughs> Look, there it is. It didn't sound good. <laughs> That's why I slowly winded off into nothing there. <laughs> Try your bet. Alright, so go ahead. I think the word I was looking for was stern, not strict. That's what it was, stern. Alright, so go through, walk through these doors. We're gonna, they're gonna go ahead and get you booked. Unofficially, officially. Have okay, a great uh, day. Have a good one. See you in about uh, 2.8 years. Good. Adoptions do work. <laughs> yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, oh, so we shit. just got this guy transported to jail <gasps> pretty un- <laughs> What the fuck was that, dude? <laughs> that was the weirdest noise ever.
Fucking A. It's like Michael Jackson just came through him for a second there. Like, what the fuck? So, all right, that was a good patrol. Definitely always fun being in the uh, city doing a little bit of work. Stand by one. Um, uh, it was always fun working out in the county here, or city and county. We kind of did a mixture of both, but it's always fun. Uh, beautiful SHP car that's scratched, but that's how we do. Thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of DOJRP, and we will see you next video.